he will feel the rattle of the old C-53 engine and the thrill of those propellers cutting through the air. His memory will drift to days that weren't so sweet. He said he's flown dozens of times since the war, but this time will have special meaning. At 96 years old, who knows how many more times Pat Hofferberg will be airborne. On Wednesday September 2, Hofferberg will be a passenger on the Victory Flight, to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Japanese surrender which ended World War II. The C-53 plane, which also participated in the 75th D-Day anniversary in Normandy in 2019, will take off from Long Beach and pass over sites that had connections to the United States war effort, Los Alamitos, the Santa Ana Naval Air Station, the Marine Corps Air Station El Toro, the World War II Submarine Memorial, the Queen Mary, the USS Iowa, the Santa Monica Airport, the Museum of Tolerance and the Brackett and Ontario Airfields. On board with Hofferbert will be people representing Rosie the Riveter, concentration camp liberators and Holocaust survivors. For these people, it's going to be a flashback of 75 years, said Bill Prosser, who will be flying the plane. Prosser is a business officer in the Riverside-based Commemorative Air Force, which performs ceremonies with vintage airplanes all over the world. Pew Research released a report earlier this year revealing that of the 16 million Americans who served in World War II, about 300,000 veterans are still alive. September 2 was one of the happiest days of my life said Hofferbert, who lives in Santa Ana. It was over. We didn't have to face that anymore. Here's what I remember, we had beers and beers and more beers. 75 years later, it is likely Pat Hofferbert will shed a tear. I am an emotional man, he said. Harry Hofferbert was born in 1924 in Indianapolis. His uncle said Harry didn't sound like an Irish enough name so he started calling the boy, Pat. His father left the family when he was eight, and Pat, his mother and two brothers moved in with his grandparents. They were sharecroppers, farming corn and wheat. Things were tough during the Depression, Hofferbert said. He didn't want to be a farmer. Hofferbert wanted to go to school. Specifically, he wanted to study history at Butler University. But opportunity intervened. His mother got a job in the accounting department at the Los Angeles Times. She moved her boys west to Alhambra. Hofferbert enrolled at Pasadena Junior College in 1942. Then he made a strategic decision. He was sure his draft number was going to come up, so he left school and enlisted in the Army Air Corps. I didn't want to be in the infantry, and that's where I would go if I was drafted, Hofferbert said. They were pushing pilots through so fast. His dreams of being a pilot never worked out. In a training flight, his eardrum popped. His equilibrium, centered in the ears, would always be in question. He was a disabled veteran before he finished his duties.